Welcome back. As you know, we've held weekly discussions here surrounding the NFL season, and this week is no different. Our setup may have changed, but the conversation remains the same. Joining us as always, Damian Bartona. Hey, Damian. What's going on, Bert? Look, uh, we got we're looking so nice and neat. I mean, I'm ready to go, man. Let's we're get We're looking into professional. It. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, week eight kicked off last night with mm -hmm. the Buccaneers visiting the Bills. Mm -hmm. Buffalo won 24 to 18, and the yeah. game came down to a hell mary at the end. Josh yeah. Allen continues to do Josh Allen things, and the Bills continue to win. Like we said with the Chiefs a few weeks ago, something doesn't look right. What's your takeaway from the game last night? Man, for some reason, I feel like the Bills, I know they're a very injured team defensively, but offensively, I feel like they have no excuse for the sputtering that they do have. They did put up 24 points last night, but, man, I just felt like this team still has a gear that they need to hit. Uh, and as far as the Buccaneers, though, I was actually impressed with Baker Mayfield, and I'm actually impressed with him overall this season. He's 13th in quarterback efficiency. I think he's played pretty well, Bird. Now, not great, not the number one overall pick great, but he's played solid. I think if you're a Buccaneers fan, you're happy that Mayfield won out the quarterback battle with yeah. Trask. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you do love you do love some Kyle Trask, though. You are a Florida Gators fan. Yeah, but but I will say, like we said, Baker's played solid. He's played decent, and I think for a team like the Buccaneers, maybe he's good enough to, in, in a bad division, maybe win it. That's true. Hey, yeah. you never know. There's still a lot of football left. Absolutely. Let's move on to a matchup between two NFC teams, the Cowboys and the Rams. That game will be played right here on Fox. And Dallas oh, is yeah. coming off the bye. And the week before that, they won a tough game in Los Angeles against the Chargers. They pulled it out with a field goal late. What is this game for the Cowboys? Is there maybe something they can do to change the narrative that we don't really trust Dallas yet? I think so, Bert, but honestly, this is one of the games that I really kind of circled on my calendar and said, I think this is a good measuring stick game to see where are they as a team. I know a lot of people look at the 49ers, but I never thought Dallas was in that elite category. I thought they were in that second tier of teams, and they beat the Chargers, who I kind of had in that group as well. So let's see, are they the best of that second tier? And before I give it back to you, the Rams do have a great run defense. They are very stout and rushing success rate, but they need that run game to, to Dallas needs that run game to win. We know the stat. When they run the ball X amount of time, they win. Well, they need it against the Rams, that's for sure. The Rams need a win, too, because yeah, they they're do. coming off a tough loss against Pittsburgh, yes, so it'll be do. interesting to see how Matthew Stafford and the Rams react. Yeah, absolutely. I want to ask you before before we get into our next game, man, if Dallas pulls this off, they're 4-2, what are you thinking? Or what, what are you, or, I'm sorry, 4-2, 5-2. Two, two. What are you thinking if they end up winning this game? Or, or, does that change how you view this team? I think they're still second place in the NFC East. I yeah. would still <laughs> give the Eagles the nod. Yeah. That should be fun. That's in two weeks, the yeah. first matchup between those two yeah, teams. Yeah, that, that's going to be a great one. Let's get into the next one before we got to go. Let's do it. And one game that a lot of people may overlook but is definitely intriguing is the Texans visiting the Carolina Panthers. And it's a matchup of two first-round draft pick oh, quarterback yeah. C.J. Stroud against Bryce Young. You've been high on Stroud all season yes. long. What do you think of this matchup? Oh, I think he's been sensational, Bert. I mean, he's everything you could have asked for. He was the quarterback that actually coming into the uh, to the draft people had a lot of questions about because he wasn't the most athletic guy but he's proven he can make reads at the first second and third levels of the passing game he's looked great you see the numbers here on your screen nine touchdowns one interception uh, I, before you know I ask about your thoughts what do you think about Bryce Young I don't know I don't know if he he's not adjusting as quickly as CJ Stroud is look yeah. they both went to rebuilding teams but you would say that the Texans are way ahead in the rebuilding process compared yeah. to Carolina. Yeah. But, look, we got to give this kid time. He missed one game because of injuries, only played five games. But yeah. C.J. Stroud looks the part. Oh, man, I love me some C.J. Stroud. I'll let you take us home. But, man, I cannot wait for that one. All right. And one game that I would like our viewers to keep an eye on is that Seahawks-Browns game. Just because of those throwback uniforms that oh, yeah. the Seahawks are going to be <laughs> wearing you know, it'll uh, invoke memories of Steve Largent oh, and Jim yeah. Zorn oh, before yeah. your time, yeah, before, before my time, yeah. too. <laughs> and Damien will be back with Marissa in just a few minutes for Fox Football Live. We'll be right back.